and his feeling is concerning the coming of the kingdom which he believed as all others have believed. None, nevertheless, though when the throat unrolled, when the scroll unrolled, if you will, you will, if you will, if you will, mm -hmm. and the knowledge, the kingdom came to the understanding of God's true followers, meaning like the disciples. When they finally understood that the kingdom was not to be literally established in their day, then these honest, truth-seeking true ones did not accuse either John or Christ, but joyously watched the scrolling unfold and jubilantly marched on with the truth for the time. In other words, Christ came and said, My kingdom was not to be established then. He made that clear to them. He came to establish the kingdom of grace and later on to establish the kingdom of his glory. But the Jews had expected the kingdom of, the glo of glory to be established then. But to be honest, and, and heart accepted. But, but be honest. But be honest, I think. Okay. Uh, but the honest in heart, in heart accepted Christ's teachings. And they did not pay attention to the fact that John did not explain the kingdom as Christ did. They did not, as it were, condemn either. They joyously watched the scroll unfold, and jubilantly they accepted the truth and marched on. Not so, though, with the vast majority of Jews today. Their pride of opinion forbidding them to forego their errors and embrace advanced truth led them deeper into error. Could it be that the same with us, brothers and sisters? We too have to be careful. That just because a messenger before did not express a truth to the full extent that we understand it now, does not mean that we are to reject the old or either to reject the new. We have to embrace both. Thus it was, says the spirit of prophecy, that the Jews did in the days of Christ, and we are warned not to do as they did. Now this statement is found in Councils and Sabbath School work, page 30, where she tells us that we are not to do as the Jews did in the days of Christ. In fact, she even goes on to say we are warned not to do as they did and be led to choose darkness rather than light because there was, they, there was in them that evil heart of unbelief departing from the living God. Here she instructs us to be careful that we do not refuse the light that God may send us. Not to do as the Jews did and accept darkness rather than light being left with an unbelieving heart. The conclusion of the matter is this, that in Grey Controversy, page 322, the servant of the Lord is describing the immortal phase of the kingdom of God. <clears throat> Whereas we have been talking about the phase when we will be mortal, which is before Christ comes. Hence, there is no contradiction. She did not write it in terms that we now understand it, obviously, because that God did not give her the full blaze of light at that time. But now as we progress and study the word of God, as we move closer to the end, God is to reveal more and more of his light for us in this time. Amen. That's it. All right. So thank you, dear. I think this is all the question we can answer. <clears throat> but brothers and sisters, I want to... Uh, just I will sink this in sink in the fact that <clears throat> we are we don't want to do, do as the Jews did uh, you see they came into their time and uh, that's my emphasis are we ready for this this means the message of the hour because if we are ready for it, we will understand what it is. And what we, we, once we understand what it is, then brothers and sisters, all we need to do is bond together and go forward. Yes, Satan is having his field day with dividing and splicing and, and bringing in isms and schisms. Mm -hmm. But that can't stop us. 
Oh, don't look on your brother, our sister Mary Jane, and so our brother Tom Deacon Harry. Go forward with this message. It is a cake that is already baked. <laughs> It is the honey that is already produced. It is light clouds, bright clouds that bring easily assimilated rain. So when you hear people, when you, when you find yourselves in these situations among us, with these things that are frightening you, they are simply dark clouds that scare the people. That's what I want to leave with you. I'm sure I've gone way over time and there's no time for you to question, but um, it's up to Brother Smith if there's something that you have, because I don't think we can go any further than question number four. Amen, amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brother Williams. I guess we have to bring you back. We have to find a way to squeeze you back in <laughs> and get you back to complete. Okay. A little. Yes, we can well do that. Well done. You very much. We don't have any hand up, so I guess, brethren, it's clear. And so we can ask you to close us in prayer. Okay. Shall we... Pray, brethren and sisters, our Heavenly Father, hallowed be the mighty and exalted name, Amen. which is even the word, your word is exalted above. Tonight we thank you for this precious moment where we could share one with another. Our oh, Father, we have come into a time, a time when this last message must take its course. And we are the instruments that you are using. Lord, help us not to clog up the wheel of your chariot now. It's uncalled for. Help us to understand that the message we have is ready made, ready done. All we need to do is read and speak in the name of Jesus because you are guiding. Bless everyone that bows in our present as bless every home represented. And help us, Lord, that we will leave here revived, revived in the sense that we understand clearly what you have called us to do at this time and impress upon our hearts your love mm -hmm. and your exalted grace and peace. May it abide with us all, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory. With exceeding joy to the all wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and evermore. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank everyone for being here with us tonight. Okay. Good. All right. A happy Sabbath to all. Till we meet again. Thank you, Brother Williams. Uh, bless Sabbath. Bless Sabbath. Bless Sabbath, Sister Judy. Have a blessed Sabbath. Thank you. <laughs> bless you, yeah. Sabbath. Need, God bless I need you. To say brother, I need to say, Brother and Sister Williams. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. A team. Yeah, yeah. we said team. <laughs> well done.
Uh, the next time you're thinking, don't try to get a little closer to the mic. It's the second time that's happening. When you're away from that mic, we don't hear a thing. Okay. Well, next time we'll check. It is yeah. very close, but I guess... The best thing to do is to have a, a, a mic pinned to your clothes yes. and enjoy it. It's going to be away. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'll try and get one. God bless you. God bless you. Over to you, Brother Delva. Brother Delva, over to you. Amen, amen, um, Brother Smith. Good night, everybody. We're going to shut down at this time. Uh -huh.